Well, anyway, let's take a look at the story Pro Ophicina Clementis. This is a simplified version of the story that you will find on page 123. Uh, simplified with beautiful pictures, courtesy of Cambridge Latin uh, Activity work uh, Workbook. Uh, let's just take a look. So you, you might want to grab um, Story Explorer and head over to um, Pro of Cana Clementis. You might want to grab your book and get page 123. You might find some words that uh, I didn't gloss for you that might be helpful for you. Templum Dea Isidus. Recall that Clemens' shop is near the temple of the goddess Isis. And here we have Clemens. Clemens will be a templo in quo canaverat domum redieba, amicum conspexit aquarentum. We don't know the word domus, and we don't know the word aquarentum. Aquarentum is an interesting word. We're going to see a bunch of these very interesting words in just a moment. So, where was Clemens? What was he doing there? And when he was returning home, what did he see? Clemens, when, from the temple in which he had dined, was returning home, caught sight of a friend running up. Well, there we see an amicus clamans. Clamans. We know the word clamat means he shouts. Clamans is a is a form of the verb, but here it means shouting. So we have a shouting friend. He says, Clemens, Clemens. Taberna tua ardet. Vidi utaicum et operas. Walwas ewelentes, vitrum fragentes. Tabernum incendentes, fuge, utaicus te interficere volt. Your shop, Taberna tua, is burning. Ardet, weedy, I saw utaicus and the operas, the hired thugs, walwas ewelentes, <laughs> wrenching off the doors, ewelentes. Um, again, <laughs> Clemens just had those fixed. Witrum fragentes breaking glass. He just bought that glass. Tabernum incandentes, burning the shop. Fuge, he tells him. This is a command. Fuge. Run, escape. Eutychus, you, to kill, wants. Eutychus wants to kill you. Because Clemens doesn't want to pay extortion money for this guy. This guy, Eutychus. Clemens says, Ego fugere nolo. I do not want to run away. And there we see he's described as Clemens Impavidus. He is unmoved, unpanicked. Clemens, I'm going to take a look down at the bottom, see how he's described. Clemens Curens. There's another one of these weird verb forms again. We have Clemens running, or running Clemens. Clemens non fugit, said ad tabernam, quam calerime contendit. Clemens did not run away, but instead, to his shop, he hurried to his shop, quam calerme, as quickly as possible. Let's see how Eutychus is described. Eutychus kakinans. Uh, there's that verb form again. It means uh, cackling or chuckling. None ego te de hac via manui, none amicos habes. Quos vocare potens, pur absunt, portase sapientiore sunt, quam tu. Oh, he's got a bunch of questions here, a bunch of sarcastic questions. None. He uses none, so he's expecting him to say yes to this. Didn't I warn you, Manuite, didn't I warn you, de haquia, about this street? None. Here is more, more sarcastic than the first none. None amicos habes, don't you have friends, quos vocare potest, whom you can call? Cur absunt, why are they not here? Fortasse sapientiore sunt quantu. Maybe sapien oh, sapiens is given to us as wise. What is that sapientiores that your mean? Uh, maybe they are wiser than you. Inevitable. Compare 
alternative adjective there. Clemens. Summa cum tranquillitate ei respondit. Clemens. Summa cum tranquillitate. So this cum here in the middle is between the summa and tranquillitate. But in English, we would put cum first. We would say cum summa tranquillitate, with the greatest calmness or with great calm. He responded to him, Absunt miki, sed dei me servare possunt. Dei homines scelestos unire solent. Absunt miki, my friends are away. But dei, the gods, are able to servare me, to save me. Dei, the gods, solent punire, the gods often punish homines scelestos, wicked men. Eutychus iratissimus operis signum dedit. So Eutychus isn't just mad, he's very mad. He gave the hired thugs a signal. Quator Egypti. Clementi apropinquabant. Quator Egypti. Those are the four Egyptians that he saw in front of Eutychus' workshop about two stories earlier. Four Egyptians approached Clemens. Oh my god, what are they holding? What's gonna happen? His shop is burned, his ransacked. What are they gonna do to him? Where are his friends? Where is everybody? Is there anyone in this street that can help him? We are in qua Clemens stabat rat deserta. Tabernarii perteriti per was tabernarum spectabant. Omnes in viti clementum deseruerant. The road in qua in which Clemens was standing was deserted, was empty. Tabernarii, the shopkeepers, uh, the terrified shopkeepers, her wall was tabernarum through the doors of their shops, plural, spectabant, were watching. They're not going to help, but they're just going to watch. Omnes in Witi, everyone unwilling, deserted Clemens. They want to help him, but they're afraid for their own shops, their own lives. Uh, Clemens against four big guys? Ooh. Sabito. Aelus Sacra. E Templo Isidus exit at Clementum Petiwit. Suddenly, Felis Sacra, a sacred cat, exited out of the Temple of Isis at Clementum Petiwit. Peto Petere can mean all sorts of things here. Right? When we first learned it, we learned it as to head for, to seek out, to attack. Later on, we learned that it also can mean to beg. Here must mean head for. It exited the Temple of Isis and headed for Clemens. This is the same cat from the story earlier that Clemens often would feed um, something out of his own out of his own plate. In manus Clementis, in silhouette, in manus, in his hands, in Clemen Clemens's hands, it jumped, uh, jumped into his arms. Omnes Aegypti statum fustes abiacerunt, et ad pedes clementis procubuerunt. Omnes Aegypti, all of the Egyptians, statum at once. They abiacerunt, they threw away their clubs, or they threw down their clubs. And ad pedes clementis to Clemens' feet procubuerunt, they fell down. They threw away their clubs and fell down at his feet because he's holding a cat. Saewee bat Eutychus secret taurus eratus. Eutychus is not Egyptian, so he doesn't have the same taboos and superstitions about cats like the Egyptians do. And he's not going to fall down at Clemens's feet. No, no. Saewee bat Eutychus. Eutychus grew angry. Secret taurus eratus. Just like an angry bull. Tum. Feles in caput utaiki in silhouette. Then the cat, in caput, on the head of Eutychus. It jumped onto his head. That's what you attack Clemens and he's holding a cat? Um, yeah, that's what my cat would do too. 
discipline. Melius est tibi fugere. Melius is a comparative of bonus. So if bonus is good, when we compare something, this is good, but this is better. It is better, tibi, for you to escape, to run away. Eutychus, cum operis suis perteritus fuget. Mox etiam ex orbe scasit. Eutychus, cum operis suis with his hired thugs. Perteritus, afraid or terrified, fuget, ran away. Perteritus here is an adjective describing Eutychus. It's tempting for us to translate it as an adverb as describing how he's running away, but it actually goes with Eutychus. It's more like a terrified Eutychus ran away with his hired thugs. Mox etiam ex orbe discuss it. Soon, even, ex orbe, out of the city, he left. He took off, he escaped, he ran away. I guess business as a mob boss isn't very good when you've got someone else uh, in your territory. Nunc Clemens as princeps tabernariorum. Now, Clemens is the chief of the shopkeepers, the plural shopkeepers. Good job, Clemens. You scared him away. No more, no more murdered old men, no more ransack shops, no more burned down buildings, all because Clemens. The end. Bye.